Good evening, my name is Kevin, and I would like to welcome new and familiar faces here for the celebration. Today, Father Chris celebrates Mass with us. Something to think about today and during the week. Mother Teresa challenges you to do things for people. Not because of who they are or what you might get in return, but because of who you are. Please stand as we sing together.
whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to look after my flock myself and keep all of it in view. As a shepherd keeps all his flock in view, when he stands up in the middle of his, of his scattered sheep, so shall I keep my sheep in view. I shall rescue them from wherever they have been scattered during the mist and darkness. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will show them where to rest. It is the Lord who speaks. I shall look for the lost one, bring back the stray, bandage the wounded, and make the weak strong. I shall watch over the fat and healthy. I shall be a true shepherd to them. As for you, my sheep, the Lord says this, I will judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and eagles. The word of the Lord.
Death came through one man, and in the same way, the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ, but all of them in their proper order. Christ is the first fruits, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death. And when everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will be subject in his turn to the one who subjected all things to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. to do this to one of the least of these, 
You neglected to do it to me. And they will go away to eternal punishment, and the virtuous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. one of the great feasts and um, it's such a big feast that it can get lost along the way as well sometimes. Uh, Jesus as we know was never well liked by the authorities let's say. He was always in trouble. They were always pointing at him. Where do you get your authority? Where do you get this from? And they were wanting him to, to point to someone or something where he, where he gained his powers from. And he could only point upward. It's my Father in heaven. And those who knew him, and those who were his disciples, and those whose hearts were open to what he was doing, and what he was saying, they got it. They got it. That it wasn't about this world, it was about the next. But those in authority insisted, and they kept pointing, who is it that you get your powers from? Who is it that you get your authority from? And he struggled in those three years when he was ministering to everyone in Galilee to explain to those people where it came from. It really comes from our gospel here. That's what his kingdom is all about. And uh, that's why it's given to us tonight. His kingdom is about where we are heading for, but the beginnings of it here and how we move into it seamlessly. And we do that by doing exactly what uh, the right sheep, the right people were doing at the beginning of the gospel. The visiting the sick, the this, the that, and the other. Where uh, those same people said, but when did we see you naked, Lord? When did we see you, uh, when did we welcome you? When did we go to visit you in prison? And that, the lovely answer, when you did it to one of your brothers or sisters, you did it to me. And for those who, who were going the wrong way, when did we see you needing help, Jesus? And the times you neglected to do it. That's why you're missing out on the real kingdom. And it's simple stuff. That's what it's all about. In order to enter the kingdom, we have to plod along, quietly doing what we know we have to do. There's nothing miraculous about it. There's nothing clever about it. It's just seeing a need and dealing to it in our own gentle and helpful ways. And if we can achieve that with our hearts opened, uh, we will achieve the eternal kingdom. And that is the secret of uh, our beautiful feast day today. Christ came, he showed us the way, and we are asked to follow.
King, coming before the throne of heaven, we voice now our petitions to our merciful Father. We pray for Pope Francis, bishops and priests. May the love of Jesus Christ, the universal King, surround them, especially those who have ministered to the people of God in this parish. We praise the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our celebration of the Feast of Christ the King, that it would be a time of reflection on our crucified Lord and an opportunity for us to imitate his attitude of humility and service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our vocations to the priesthood and religious life, may people of all ages accept your invitation to be laborers in your vineyard. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. May we respond generously to the needs of the poor and marginalized in our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the people who govern us. Guide them in their deliberations so that the laws they pass protect all people, the unborn, the young, the needy, disabled, and the elderly. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. During the month of November, we remember our family, friends, and parishioners who have died. We especially remember Bernard Feely and Pat Gordon. May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving Father, Christ the King has made us into a kingdom. Renew our obedience and faithfulness and be pleased with the prayers we offer this night through Christ our Lord. Amen.
you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. We ask of thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him that with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Go in the peace of the Lord. Yes, peace of God.